Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And if this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Shubham. I'm a photographer and cinematographer based in India. And in this video, I'm going to show you my whole backup workflow. And I hope this video will help you to improve your backup system as well. By the way, I know some of you guys are really getting annoyed by the hard drive videos one after another. But believe me, these videos aren't for getting tens of thousands of views. Even no one even likes this topic until they are in a problem. But I just genuinely thought that this is an important topic. And if this helps a single person, I'm glad. Also, this is the final and last video of the series. And after this, a lot of tutorials, product reviews are coming up. Okay, so now let's talk about today's topic, backup workflow. So as a photographer and cinematographer, I shoot a lot of weddings, commercial shoots for clients. And whenever I'm shooting, I always use two cards. The second card works as a backup if something goes wrong with the primary card. So this way, after wrapping up the shoot, immediately I already have my project in two different places. And I don't keep both SD cards in the same place. So usually I left the primary card in the camera, which goes to my camera bag. And I took the second card in my card case and I keep it in my personal bag. So it also guards against losing a card. Okay, so we are done with the shoot. We have already two backups. And then when I am back to the studio, I don't touch the backup card immediately. I just keep it as a backup. And from the main card, I dump all the footage to the main hard drive. I mean, which one I have on a PC, but not cut, just copy. And then I do three more copies to three different external hard drives. One is the Seagate Backup Plus Hub, which works as a main backup of my whole backup system. At this point, the data is stored on two different cards, two external hard drives and my PC's internal hard drive and also in the Backup Plus Hub. So now I have the data in six different places. Now it's time to edit. While I am editing, one of my hard drive is programmed as an automatic backup. And that backs up all the files I have been working on, on a certain point of the day. So after we have finalized the project, the deliverables have been delivered to the client. Then I format both of my SD cards and transfer all the edited files from the PC to the three different external hard drives and we are done with the project now to the next one and after all i have the whole data in three different hard drives so i think it's pretty good but it's not perfect by any means if you can go for the nas or cloud-based any other system that's way safer but right now i don't have that amount of money to spend on this type of systems so this is my backup system right now and i think the type of project i shoot it's enough for that did you spot any holes or anything i could improve on please let me know in the comments and if you are a new photographer just starting out then do realize that my method is probably going to be an overkill in some areas it's a system i have started and improved over the years so everything takes time so this is all for today's video if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comments i hope this video will help you to improve your backup and please if you are serious about your work please pay attention to the backup system and keep your data organized see you in the next one till then tada.